Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Rogue Genesia run. And today we got another new patch. So a bunch of new cards got added. Also now we got, uh, you know, this thing where we can see all the cards that there exist. There also is this new Void Wisp weapon, which I haven't unlocked yet because I need to get an achievement here with, for 12 distance. So there's that, I guess. So let's go and get that achievement going while also in the meantime uh, trying to do... I don't know, you know what? Let's, let's try to do... Um, a speed run, you know, let's try to do a speed run. There is also an achievement that uh, has to do with uh, being a fast runner. So let's do that too. Uh, the main way of doing speed runs is we just chase down events and non fights and look at this pathing. This is like the path of the speed run. <laughs> uh, hoping that we're gonna get this going. If we're unlucky, then we're unlucky. I mean, who knows? Let's go off to the left. Now, I would like to get here a crossbow. If I don't get a crossbow, this uh, is pretty much not happening. And uh, I don't think us... Uh, yeah. You know what? Let me actually force a crossbow so that I can actually do the speed run. So give me a sec. I'm coming, coming back right away. Okay, here I am back with all my rerolls wasted as I wasted in the first attempt. And we got the crossbow. Now, why the crossbow? Because crossbow is the premier item for speed running. As it does shoot practically throughout the whole map. Uh, let's get the XP multiplier. This is a new card that they added and they even bought already. So the dev already one step ahead of me there. 15% uh, XP multiplier. Let's take that because why not? I think XP is good to get. Now crossbow level up. I'm going to go void first though because I don't think crossbow is needed that much right now. Here we got attack speed. Obviously an attack speed build is also going to be really important if I'm going to be speed running. So we will try to maybe get an attack speed build going alongside um, everything else let's go attack speed here oh the shuriken was a very good chase maybe should have gotten it hypersonic that's also very important we're gonna take that a 70 projectile lifetime 70 projectile speed uh, i mean 30 less projectile lifetime 70 percent more speed that's obviously insane compromise you lose damage but you get a projectile not really let's go for this let's uh, try to smash everything death aura that's really good we're gonna take that now we have the power of range and also the power of melee, so that's gonna definitely increase our speed there. The snip, as you see, these snipes that are happening is what I mean. Uh, I'm gonna go here even less project, uh, even more projectile speed, and we get a good movement speed boost. That's in my opinion really important, as now we can chase down, I guess, uh, what is it called, XP. And as you see, every crossbow shot is almost always a kill because of the crazy speed my shots get. Uh, so everything that I throw hits. Now if the first, yeah, I think the first round here taking more than a minute is pretty bad. I will lose a bunch of XP, obviously, because of the fact that I am with the crossbow here. Ah, this this stage has a very low enemy drop rate here. Now, in general, the idea is that I want to do a run that is done within 20 minutes, uh, but the minutes only count when I am in a fight. Let's go with crit chance, I would say. I want to be one-shotting anything that I can as much as I can. Obviously, the the one and the premier item that I want to get is Lunatic, which is an ascended card. It got nerfed into an ascended card. It's a crossbow, and uh, that means that it will. Um, it is extremely rare to get. Okay, I lose money, but I gain XP. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Let's take that multi-handed. Perfect. What a god roll to get. So today we're gonna go full on XP. Nah, that was a fight. Pretty unlucky. I'm gonna go Shurikens here. It attacks the lowest health opponent. I know I did the run like that already. Uh, let's go with projectile size. That's gonna be important-ish. Now the Shuriken also got buffed. It now no longer tries to attack anything that is not close to it. Like, it's not trying to fizzle out on purpose. Projectile speed, that's good. But we're gonna go pickup range. I need to get pickup range 10 point something. Let's go crit damage, I would say. I don't really need the cleaver. No, what I need is the bow. I don't know I did a run like this already, but uh, the bow is definitely the next weapon of choice here. Let's go crossbow. Penetration is decent-ish. Actually, let's go here. Let's go pick up range. Especially with the crossbow attack and everything from afar. I definitely need to make sure that I'm able to pick everything up. Uh, let's go with accuracy, I would say. Also, they definitely buffed the Golden Soul card. There was like a Magnetism card that existed. Let's go with more projectiles. Actually, let's go with good base damage. Good base damage. Plus 1.25 base damage there. That's insane, obviously. Uh, I would say XP multiplier. Yep, and that's 30%. Oh, this, this is multiplicative. Nice, 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 nice. That's multiplicative. At least it's multiplicative from uh, the, the item I got. 
the 100% XP item I got. So there's that, I guess. Let's continue running in circles. Trying to pick up as much XP as possible. Another 1.25 base damage. That's really good. Should have banished the card on the right, by the way, there. But I didn't. I definitely also need to increase my damage with the crossbow because this, this is like a joke. <laughs> Let's go attack speed. The crossbow is not doing enough here. 31 damage. I'm. Th that's a joke. That's a disgrace of the crossbow. Pickup range. Oh, here is the small pickup range thing they added. That did not exist previously. Uh, I'm thinking also about taking the sword rank right here. By the way, the time is still ticking, but I mean, <laughs> that's what we're losing right now. It's a joke. Uh, I think I need 12 pickup range to get the achievement going. Is Sword Rank the play, though, for the damage? Mm, you know what? Let's take the pickup range. Sword Rank is not the play. <laughs> we got a magnet there. Let's go the crossbow, obviously. Oh, no. I was not able to get the kill on the elite. Ah, we just lost a bit of XP there, but it's okay. Our selection. And we're going to go with even more attack speed. Off to the right we go. Oh, it's a time fight. That's not good for us, obviously. As right now, I do have enough attack speed to make sure uh, the fight is going to go down fast enough. I just realized I don't really need the bow either. I have the... I just realized I have the death aura. <laughs> Sift being, like, blind. Nice. Uh, knockback. That's that's a definite banish. <laughs> Thorns is here. I would say yes to Thorns, but I'm not sure if I really should. Let's go accuracy, actually. Maybe even project that lifetime would have been an even better idea. I'm uh, I'm thinking about maybe I should have took Cleaver. In general, I'm thinking about taking Cleaver now that I think about it. Let's banish the small life. Let's go with crit damage. It's definitely going to be important. Let's go Death Aura. Because I want to have uh, a big Death Aura. <laughs> Let's go. Maybe I should chase down... Yeah, maybe I should. Th theoretically, maybe I should go to the Swarm stage. But if I go to the Swarm stage, I'm definitely not going to get the time thing going. And I just want to do be done with this. Let's banish this too. I don't like it. Let's go with more projectiles on the shurikens. Nice money and XP. Get the lead. Crit chance. I would say yeah to crit chance. The small one. Small crit chance. I'm really enjoying that we get a bunch of new cards that uh, are just small version of the other cards. So now uh, it does become harder to do the run you want. Like, I, I full on agree with that. I, my opinion is that you should definitely, definitely make it so that um, the difficulty for the game comes from... Oh, heavy. Nice. I'm gonna take heavy. It's gonna make us get a lot more damage. 1.5 damage there. We lose movement speed, but... Who cares about movement speed? And we lose a bit of projectile size, but uh, speed. But the speed is already borderline crazy. And uh, we will also get projectile size, which is very important in my opinion. And I haven't even gotten the speed thing anyway. Oh, I should have banished this for sure. Let's go with damage multiplier here. Now, uh, I did a run before this. And I was super trash talking the dev. And uh, not trash talking, but mostly saying that um, he was nerfing a bit too many things. Let's go damage multiplier here. But uh, at the end of the day, he actually didn't. Like, he he just patched a bunch of things back. He And he also started buffing a bunch of other things. So, good job, Dev, in my opinion. I really love that he took back the whole idea of nerfing everything to the ground. So, now I'm happy again. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go here with the Void Ring. The, the, the Doom, the Ring of Doom or whatever. Magnetism. Although, honestly speaking, those I, I borderline am unable to even hit. I don't want defense. I don't need defense at all because I would like to get Lunatic if I'm lucky enough to find it. So, I don't really need defensive stuff. And I didn't find any Magnet or anything here to pick up things. I definitely need to start leveling up the more Magnetism thing. Here it is. 10.5. I'm going to take this. I know there are better choices, but I'm going to take this. Come on, don't give me a fight. No! Well, that's going to take even more time now. Not sure how much chance we have for the crazy speed run run, but uh, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best, and I hope we're gonna get Lunatic. If we get Lunatic, then the run is at hand. A crazy attack speed, but we lose damage. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go for a crazy attack speed build. I'm uh, I'm eager to do that. Although we reduce our damage, but still, the attack speed should help us out with most of the one shots, and also it's a speed run build, so attack speed is definitely part of this. I think I should get the arrows. I think I should get the arrows that I was mentioning. Recursion, let's go. Crazy damage. I see the XP multiplier on the left, but obviously we go for crazy damage here. Come on, man. 
come on, man. Come on, elite. What is what? What are these guys doing? I still haven't fully leveled up the crossbow, which is a bit uh, bad. Okay, more projectiles. Honestly, I don't want this. I don't want even less damage. Let's go here. I know, I know. More projectiles most likely is extremely good. Also, that isn't really that much damage to lose. So maybe that one more projectile for only one less damage is good. But right now, that one less damage is a big multiplier. Because from 7 going down to 6 is like, what? More than 10%. <laughs> Let's go. We have 30 more seconds here. We found average. Banish all critical related cards, but you gain a crazy damage boost. This is like a 60% damage boost. And um, you get 0% crit chance. Okay, you can no longer crit is this thing. No, we're not going to go with that. Uh, let's continue with the crit thing related things. Definitely. In my opinion. In my opinion, the crits plus the focus, if I get focus, by the way is a lot better because uh, at this point you can get i think focus up to about 18 to 19 percent piercing that good, should be good with boomerang you know what between these things let's just go piercing it's gonna be good with not boomerang with uh, shurikens because shurikens by different by on their own don't pierce so there's that nice i didn't find a magnet here at the end which is pretty sad but it is what it is that's what we got crit chance 55 percent off to the right, another fight. It's a kill fight that should be pretty fast ish. Hoping, hopefully. I need to level up the crossbow a bit more, unless I have it already maxed out, but I don't think I have it maxed out yet. Obviously. Destroy everything and everybody. I would say crit chance between those chases. <laughs> I hope we're gonna get the attack speed thing. I'm definitely not gonna get turtle. I hope we're gonna get the attack speed. Um, Relic, the one that says movement speed increase your attack speed further. That's like, in my opinion, the most powerful relic in the game, but I haven't been finding it lately. Also, the double damage relic. There is a relic that gives you double. There are four relics that I want. Uh, five. Uh, soul cards give you damage. We're gonna go with this. Uh, food gives you damage. Uh, you get double damage. The cross that gives you also damage, and uh, the thing that gives you attack speed based on your movement speed. Okay, from these choices, I'm gonna most likely take area here. I could get thorns, but honestly, let's go with area so that the ring becomes big. Let's get a relic here. Wow, I got it! I got it! Moon Street gives us attack speed! Wow! And we found absolute focus, so that's also good. It's already at 17% chance to crit, so it's really good. Wow, that was so lucky! That was so lucky! Crit chance against base damage. We're gonna go base damage, I would say. And piercing against crit damage. I would say crit damage. And uh, we lose defense, but we get the projectile. I'm going to take that, obviously. Clumsy is definitely part of this build. Especially now that I get the attack speed based on my movement speed. Oh man, oh man. Now I'm going to start increasing my movement speed, obviously. <laughs> this is the elite over here, which uh, is very durable right now. But we will obviously try to one-shot it. I mean, one-shot is definitely not on the table here. Uh, I think we're going to be so fast. Oh, nice crossbow level. I definitely want to level up the crossbow bunch. Uh, I think we're gonna be a bit too fast on the <laughs> side kills here. Uh, we obviously always want to get the elite first because Dev said that you get more XP out of it. So let's go onward. And got it. Nice. And uh, we're gonna go Death Ring, obviously. I saw the damage multiplier there. Oh, nice XP drop. And another XP drop. Nice crossbow. Throw. Yeah, we're gonna go crossbow here. Maybe the final level of crossbow should uh, rarity reroll it. Elites have less health. Very nice. That's good for us. I would say damage on everything. As you see, uh, we're going to go shop here to skip a fight as this is the speed run. And then we're going to go into a bunch of question marks to hopefully not get in our fight. Let's see what we... Whoa, 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 25% damage. I I'm going to take the cross. That's literally the one I wanted. I wanted the light armor too, but I don't got money. I got two out of the five I said I wanted. <laughs> I got two out of the five that I mentioned as things that give us damage. Very nice. I definitely want the arrow because I see a bunch of opponents being able to get close to us. And arrow shoots whatever's closest. So that's really important to get. And I also want to start getting movement speed. Whenever I get a movement speed choice, I should try to get that movement speed choice. Uh, damage, I would say. <laughs> damage, I would say. What's my attack speed, by the way, right now? 172. And we are at the 7 minute mark and 30. Uh, which is definitely going to become a 9 minute mark because this is a 2 minute stage. Uh, but this stage should give us a lot of XP and levels. Let's go crossbow. 200 damage per shot at this point. 
Let's continue and running around in circles, getting as many kills as possible. Uh, I should definitely, definitely try to leave a magnet on the stage. I would say movement speed. So right now I attacked with 172. Wait, wasn't it 172 already? I hope there is no cap on that thing. I hope the relic has no cap. Because if it has, I'm going to be super sad. Super sad. Let's continue leveling up. Spear, not really. I'm going to go movement speed. So from 172, still 172. Wait, is that movement speed? Damage multiplier. Oh, uh, attack speed is 311. Okay. Attack speed is actually crazy. 311%. What? That's insane. I love it. I love it. I'm doing 1,500 crit damage, by the way. Bye-bye. Everybody's dead. Running around in circles. Look how many levels we're gaining. Let's not forget I get the double XP thing. Uh, I'm gonna go with crit chance. This is 7%. Wow. <laughs> uh, let's go... You know what? Let's get the shurikens going, actually. Let's get the shurikens going as they reduce cooldown. So the more I level them up, the better. Ah, maybe I should have gone with crits, making the crossbow even better. I don't know. I mean, the crits are insane. Recursion, we obviously take that without any questions asked. The reason why I have this ring around us, by the way, uh, the why I took the death ring is so that I can just run into opponents and just destroy everything, but I'm not even sure if that's needed anymore. Yeah, and if it even does anything. I'm not sure there is any magnet around. Let's get damage multiplier, I would say. 600 life there as a choice. Oh, we're destroying elites. <laughs> They're coming on screen and they just die. I didn't find any magnet. A bit sad here at the end. I hope we're gonna get the legendary soul magnet thing that got added now. The god buffs, actually. Let's go damage multiplier. Let's roll. Let's go. Nothing. Nice. It's a shop. Increase XP gain. I want this. Whatever. Increase XP gain the small. 990. Uh, I'm not gonna go for card selection. Let's go another event. Ah, no. It's a two man. No. The speed run dream is dead. The speedrun dream is dead. The game just killed the speedrun dream. The only thing that I can possibly save us right now. First of all, let's wait for a magnet. The only thing that can possibly save us right now is uh, the relic that says that you no longer fight kill fights. Let's go crit chance. Which the chance of getting that is very slim. And I'm also not even sure if I have it even unlocked. So, uh, yeah, two two things that are detrimental here. <laughs> but I think I've seen it. I think I have seen it. I think I've seen a relic saying exactly those lines. So, one can only hope, you know. One can, oh no, I found a magnet. Is there a magnet down there? I'm trying to avoid magnets. I'm getting so much XP here. We're level 52. And this is, is this is still very early for us to be level 52. The reason I want the arrow, by the way, is because of the secondary weapon that goes pretty close. That's also a attack speed weapon. A weapon that is good with attack speed. Maybe cleaver as a play. I don't want the spears. I hate the spears. Let's, uh, let's try to roll the spear away. Let's get the area. Area is decent-ish. Helps out for sure. I still uh, am unable to see the magnet before I pick it up. <laughs> so bad at this my my magnetism is you know counteracting the, uh, my my too big of a magnetism is fighting us on that i found the magnet long last now we're gonna wait here there is no real reason to do anything other than just farm xp nice i found a magnet randomly let's go with more damage we're obviously completely busted here i really hope we're gonna find lunatic i don't know if there is like some kind of uh, thing that increases your ascended cards drop rate i don't even know what the ascended cards drop rate is so it's very hard, very hard to get 4,000 kills, by the way. <laughs> 5,000 kills, by the way. Look at this. We don't even need to go to the uh, the crazy swarm stage. We can be here. I'm so happy that we got the attack speed build going. That is, this is the attack speed build, by the way. Uh, I would say let's go crit and damage multiplier. Okay, and now we're gonna go with the magnet. Boom! Nice. We didn't get anything out of it. Ooh, food, food, food. Even more magnets. Level up. Okay, I would say we go base damage. I see four cards here, three cards. Let's go over to the shop. Maybe we're gonna get a relic for 3,000. Nope, 4,000. No, I wanted this to do more enemies. No, <laughs> uh, we're gonna get movement speed. I'm gonna get crit damage for 900. And uh, we're gonna get the projectile speed for 1,000 plus. I'm taking the small cards just to remove them from the drop. And what is this now? 343 attack speed. Those are toast. And boss is toast. 
And then we're gonna run uh, very quickly around to... Actually, if I stay in the middle... Nope, I need to run around and clear out everything. Okay, everything is cleared out. Fighting the boss again. Okay, boss is toast. Let's try again. I really hope we're gonna get Lunatic. Man, the time... the time We're, we're really bad on time. On time, we're really, really bad on time. I don't see us being able to get it. But this is the attack speed build, so it's fun. <laughs> and I mean, if I get a good pathing of only events, maybe we have a chance. Maybe we have a chance. Okay, we found Death Aura level up. Man, that, that thing is not leveling up. I think there was also movement speed choice. What did we get? You cannot pick between four cards. Nice, Hand of the Cheater. And uh, we're gonna go this thing here. We're gonna go crit damage. Okay, let's try to go as many relics slash uh, event paths as possible. So we're gonna go here, here, here. What an event path. I'm gonna go one elite. And uh, then shop event. Yeah, like that. And then I can go one fight. Well, if I'm gonna go one fight... No, that, that's 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 right. Uh, we're gonna go here, then event. Actually, if I wanna actually do a speed run. Okay, at this point, I will take a decision and think if I should go over here. Like, if there is any chance whatsoever. Then I should do one fight and then just skip to the boss. Or if I see that at this point we have like 18 minutes going, then I'm just gonna go off to the elite and uh, whatever. Actually, why would I ever go to the elite? No, we we'll just go to the right side and pick up the chest and that's done. So we're gonna just hope for the best here on the speedrun aspect of this. And uh, yeah, one can only hope that all of these events are going to be practically nothing. And this is a kill fight, obviously. The first fight is always a kill fight. Come on, we can do this. I mean, we, we have 8 minutes to pretty much clear the rest of uh, Zone 2, which isn't really that hard to get. I mean, most of my path is events. The only thing that's gonna kill this run now is if I roll any time fight, which the chance is not low. Like, the chance is not zero. If anything, it's 50-50. <laughs> More than 50-50, because uh, we don't want to roll a time fight, and we also don't want to roll a dual fight, right? So any of those two things is gonna be bad. But, uh, as you saw, the kill fight is already done within, what, 3D seconds? Like, th this is really fast right now, because of all the projectiles and all the crazy attacks that I'm having. Everything just dies. Uh, penetration is useless for us. Let's go even more projectile speed, so whenever I take a shot, it just hits. I should have maybe rarity rolled a rare there, but, eh. Same thing, same thing. Who cares? I mean, maybe a bunch of people care, but I don't. Right, let's continue. I definitely need to increase my magnetism, though, with those uh, tainted magnets. Let's see what we get. Student, here we go. That's that's not magnetism, that's XP gain. I'm gonna take the XP gain, though, regardless. Come on, let's see what we get. Nice! We got a double free, a free double card. Let's go with movement speed that gives us attack speed. Let's go with the uh, movement speed which gives us attack speed. My attack speed's odd. 381. What? Come on, another. Yeah, no, it's a fight. No, it's a dual fight. No. Do events roll dual fights? Is that the thing? Because that's what it feels like. The shurikens are borderline invisible, by the way. It feels like. Oh, man, that, that's two minutes down the drain. That's just two minutes down the drain. It feels like events uh, trigger these dual fights, and that's why events are uh, good, I guess. Because if events fire, if event fights are always dual fights, then yeah, I should be chasing events forever from here on out. Uh, Speedrun included, by the way, because yeah, okay, this will kill the run right now, but that doesn't mean that this uh, could have not have rolled, you know, an event. I mean, th this is two minutes, but the previous uh, question mark was zero. So, you know, it's as if both events together each gave me a minute plus. Not that that's a good thing, because... You know, we're in a time here. But I'm gonna be able to do it. Gas, gas, gas. Speedrun and attack speed. <laughs> the builds are together. <laughs> we're losing so much XP, by the way, because of the non-magnet pickup thing. I really want to get that uh, magnet level up. Magnetism to 12. I really, really want to get it to 12 because I first and foremost want to unlock the new weapon. To be honest. That's my main uh, thing here. <laughs> Also, the dev made it so that attack speed, we, we lose a bunch of attack speed, but we gain three more projectiles. Honestly, no, I'm gonna rarity roll that. Okay, we're gonna get the attack speed here. Let's see, 413. Okay, we got a magnet there at the end, that was very nice. Let's try to maybe stay just in the middle and uh, wait for maybe a magnet to appear around us or something. Do I increase how many kills we get if I'm running around? I mean, I have no idea, we found a magnet. 
maybe I do. It feels like I do. It feels like I do. In general. Because I'm bringing the shurikens closer. And I see more opponents just get decimated all the time. I might be wrong. I like how the elites just straight up appear, disappear. Let's give even more movement speed, which gives us attack speed. <laughs> and also we run faster. Let's just clear everything out. Nice. Look how many. We got 4,000 kills here. Did we get less? I think we got less than previously. Oh, this guy is durable. Okay. Level up and a magnet at the end. Very nice. 14 minutes. I think we can still do it if I don't fight any other fight again. <laughs> uh, let's go with... Go here. Okay, nice. Relic. Which is... Increase your damage if you get damage. Nice. Recursion. Even more damage. Off to the non-fight we go. No! And it's a four-time fight! No! No! We're gonna rarity roll the tower. Okay, you know what? Let's take the sword around. Doesn't feel nice. Let's go piercing even more. Oh, I got another level. Let's go crit damage. Let's go movement speed. My attack speed is at 428. And this now is no longer a speed run, but it has become an, uh, an attack speed build. <laughs> It's an attack speed build, it's an attack speed and movement speed build, I guess. This is the highest attack speed possible in the game right now. I mean, not actually the highest possible, because I am still missing like 3 meta progression on the attack speed thing. There is an attack speed meta progression choice, and which I'm missing, so there's that, I guess. And uh, I would really like to find a lunatic right about now, would be really fun doing millions of damage, but it's impossible. Ah, that was so unlucky with the time thing. If, if this fight was not a time thing, let's take that removed from the pool. <clears throat> if this fight wasn't an attack thing, we would have a uh, timer thing, we would have definitely be able to get the thing going that we wanted, you know, the speed run. But it is what it is. I mean, I think I have to try to go for speed runs whenever I see that I'm done with the first world in 8 minutes. Because now I was done in the first world in 12 minutes. I have done the first world in 8 minutes sometimes here and there. So that's what I should try to achieve. It's a bit unlucky on that aspect, but uh, still, the attack speed build is a thing, is a go. And uh, I'm having fun with it. Let's go. Now, I wanted to mention some things about the dev here and the whole design, which, uh, I mean, most of the things I wanted to mention are gone already because the dev is awesome. So, I wanted to say that uh, the, the dev, like, to one day ago, too, nerfed uh, or Lunatic to the ground. Like, it was full damage and he reduced it to one. And uh, it was doing, it was also having a debuff that you get 10 less defense. Uh, if you pick it up, all your defense gains are 10, 10% less, and he nerfed that into 50% less. So from plus 4 damage and minus 10% defenses, it got plus 1 damage and minus 50% defenses. And that pretty much killed the item. In my eyes, like from a heroic crazy thing that you get and lose all your defense, you just became, you just got a little damage boost and lost even more defense. <clears throat> and that was like a huge nerf. And what I wanted to mention is that, you know, in my opinion, the dev should not nerf this game, like, at all, ever. I think the way he's doing it right now is the best thing. Just add 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 more cards every single little patch. Uh, add a new weapon once every 2 or 3 days. And uh, just get a crazy thing here. Here we go. Void Spirit. 50% chance for soul gems to be attracted. This thing got buffed, by the way. It has 2 levels, and it also gives us XP gain. This is really good right now. I mean, the XP gain may be not relevant, but the gathering of XP from globally is good. Let's go Relics. Uh, but he reverted it. He reverted the choice. Allows you to draw two soul cards at the end of every elite stage. Yeah, whatever. Crossbow level up at the final level. Wow, you can take average while you have focus. Why would you ever take absolute focus and then also take average? Shouldn't those two cancel, cancel out each other? By the way, this thing... Yeah, this, this is less of, than what we do with crits. Just so you guys know. Uh, because where's the absolute focus? That, that thing shows my crit chance and everything. It's... Uh, I took it through. Here it is. So we have a thousand percent crit damage right now and eighteen percent crit chance. That means that this this alone gives us a hundred and eighty percent damage. Okay, so if I take this, I reduce, I lose that hundred and eighty percent damage and I gain three hundred percent damage. Am I wrong about this? No, 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 no. Because that thing is 180 on top of what we have, right? I don't know, man. I'm gonna get the crossbow. I might be wrong about this. I might be wrong about this. I'm, I might be doing some mistakes here on the math. And... Oh, no, not, 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 that's not a kill stage. Nice. Average again. Would be nice if I had rarity reroll, wouldn't it? Let's go attack speed. Let's go crit damage. Yeah, I can still uh, further increase my crit damage. Yep, that that's something I didn't think about. 
I mean, is that even correct? I mean, if I crit, it's obviously more, but I'm talking about the average here because I think average might be doing more. Uh, I don't want more projectiles. Let's go more size. Whatever. Maybe I should go more projectiles. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Yeah, maybe I should go more projectiles. Maybe it's gonna increase the speed at which I destroy opponents. Theoretically, it should actually because I'm seeing a bunch of opponents not even getting hit at all. I definitely, man, the, the lack of ROI is also very important. <laughs> the lack of the ROI item. With the magic wand, to be honest. Although the magic wand without lifetime doesn't even do anything. While the arrow at least does. Okay, we got it done. Nice, done. Come on, clean it out. Clean it out, done. Look at how fast that was. We are extremely fast on gathering, uh, on just destroying everything that's not a time event. Let's go with damage. Um, There is no chance. <laughs> No chance! There is no chance. We're gonna go here, though. There is no chance whatsoever. Where's the elite? Uh, yeah, I have two and a half, not, not even two and a half minutes, two minutes to clear out two and a half stages. And if any of them is that time stage, the run is instantly dead. The, the speed run idea is instantly dead. Let's see how much time it takes me to clear out the 3000 kill stage. Because this is gonna be a good timestamp here, because any other stage from here on out is gonna have more kills. So. Let's go with crit damage. So if this stage uh, brings me down to 19 minutes... You know what? We have a chance. We have a chance. If every single next stage is a kill stage. Do we? No way. No, we don't. We don't. We don't have any chance whatsoever. This took me like... Yeah, this took me about 40 seconds. Let's say 50. It's it's over. Multiple projectiles. We, oh, fractal. Let's go. I mean, we definitely speed up with Fractal. Did I go to that stage? You know what? I'm going to attempt my speedrun. I'm going to continue with my speedrun. If these two happen to roll fight fights, I, 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 I might do it. I might do it. Fully heal and level up. Useless. Shops are reduced. Let's go. Shops are reduced. We already take a lot less life money. Uh, movement speed gives attack speed. Area. Damage multiplier. Small damage multiplier. No. Let's get the card selection going. Piercing. I think we're good here. Next stage. Okay, this is if this is not a fight. Okay, nice. It's a relic. Grazing through shops. Uh, what is this? Patience. We lose attack speed, but we gain crit chance. This is a decent card. I'm not going to take it, though. We're going to go projectiles. Come on, fight, fight. No, it's dead. The run's dead. The run just died. No! Fire spirit. 20% chance to ignite enemies on hit. Deal 50% of your damage. Can be stacked. Uh, honestly, this is uh, this is a nerfed card. This is another card that got nerfed. This used to be a 100% chance to burn opponents from 25% damage. This is now 20% chance every level. So that means at level 1, it practically increases your damage by about... Uh, what's 50? 20% of 50 is 10. So this is a 10% damage boost every time you take it, pretty much. So it used to be a 25% damage boost right away. So now it's a 10% damage boost uh, split into 4 levels. So that means that... Uh, you will get a 40% damage boost if you level it up to the max. Let's go pickup range. Oh, I already got the pickup range thing going. Uh, regardless, though, let's go even more pickup range. Let's go projectile size. So, yeah, it's obviously nerfed. I, I disagree with the nerf, but I mean, fair, fair, fair enough, fair enough. It isn't really that crazy of a nerf. In general, I don't really enjoy those uh, rare cards uh, needing 4 and 5 and 6 upgrades and whatever. I mean, I don't think any rare card needs 6 upgrades, but I think there are, there are a bunch of them that need 4. So I disagree a bit with that, but it's okay. It's fair. It's not really the end of the world. If anything, I would even say that uh, shouldn't the burn card have 5 levels so that you get that crisp and uh, nice 100% chance to burn? Like... You know, just to feel better that every single shot of yours is a burn shot. Uh, that's like the only thing I would add to that. If anything, I mean, there is no reason for it to have four levels. Why not just make it five and allow us to get a guaranteed burn? Uh, so yeah, there's that, I guess. Now, uh, specifically about the things I was mentioning about nerfing and stuff. Let's go project that a lifetime. So it's going to make the shurikens a bit better. I wanted to mention that, um, yeah, about the whole idea of these games. These survival games, because I want to be a constructive criticism here. I think that uh, a bunch of devs that copied survivals, uh, Vampire Survivor success, not copied, you know, not copied, actually got inspired, got inspired, because copying is just taking the assets and the name and everything, and this game doesn't have anything related to Vampire Survivors other than, you know, the survival mode, like, 
it's it's not even it's night and day the difference between these two games so yeah any game that is inspired by bumper survivors should always 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 think about the fact that the the thing that makes these games fun is being busted so if you want to make your game more challenging because everybody's destroying it or you know whoever uploads a video or whoever uploads a screenshot always showcases busted builds that you know destroy everything and stuff and if the dev starts feeling that oh you know what maybe the game is a bit too easy i should make n maybe nerf things just don't do it the challenge of these games come from the the challenges themselves, like the levels, the stages, the, the difficulty settings. The, the That's how you increase the difficulty stage. And that's also what the Vampire Survivors did. That's why, by the way, the thing with Vampire Survivors being a success is not only because the game had a good idea, right? It's also because of the way they balanced and the way they were patching things was the correct way right adding new weapons every time adding new passives every time adding new stages every time stages being harder difficulties to settings by the way because every new stage was always harder than the previous one and they also added new events new bosses and then what did they do when everything was broken and the game was extremely easy they added arcanas they added even more things that make the game easier and then what did they do after they added arcanas and make the game even easier they added even more characters that are completely busted and op they even added like a new character now like queen sigma or something that is completely busted and becomes a black hole and becomes immune to damage and just destroys everything let's go harm percent chance void spirit now i don't even need to move anymore um no 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 i should have gone left no well whatever and now i don't need to move anymore no don't move challenge here we go <laughs> don't move challenge initiated so yeah, that's also something that people should take care of, right? Like if you are inspired of the game, you have to also realize what makes those what made the game successful. It is not just oh, it's the base system. No, it's also the dev understanding what gamers want from the specific game. And what do players want from this specific game? Well, being busted, being busted, having fun destroying opponents etc etc and if you think that anybody's gonna feel like oh the game is a joke now every single run is a win add more ascension levels add more stages add more difficulty encounters or or add more cards add more relics add more replayability to the game the more replayable a game is it doesn't matter if the other person is a god when he plays it um let's go lifetime whatever ah I should have went, went, off, went off to the left. Ah, oh, whatever. Might as well go for this fight and then the, the chest. So, yeah. This is included in this one. Uh, and honestly, I, I, I did like a full-on full, full -on video. Let's go here. I did like a... You know what? Let's get 15 in case the number is 15. Although I think the number is 12. I did like a full-on video um, ranting about the nerfs that the dev did, etc. But now that uh, he actually reverted them, he literally reverted them today morning. I just did a new video. Like, this video is shot three hours before I uploaded. Uh, two hours before I uploaded. Uh-oh, I'm not even sure if it's going to upload in time. Ah, that's not good. <laughs> it's really not good that the video is not going to upload in time. Anyway, um, so yeah. I think the dev is back to senses about the fact that everything should be fun in my opinion. Uh, why, by the way, sorry that I'm moving. I want to do a don't move challenge, but I completely forgot that I can do that. <laughs> don't move challenge over here. So yeah, now now I'm okay again. Now I think I, I because I thought that it is, it's it's pretty much a, a red flag. You know, when when a when a dev of these games start nerfing them, it's it's a red flag straight up. It's uh, it's it's an indication that the dev is not exactly sure about how the game should be balanced. In my opinion, I mean, I do get that these games should be um, not balanced. The word balance doesn't really fit in these games because these are a power trip game anyway. Like, how how are you gonna balance power trip? Remove kill requirements from normal stage. Ah, this is the one I wanted. This is the one I was mentioning. I I mentioned the other one though. There is one that says remove time requirements from normal stages. So this is exactly the relic uh, the opposite relic of what i needed for the speed run would attract two gems whatever automatically protect whatever lunatic i found it and it's bugged completely bugged hey but dev i found a bug uh, you are selling ascended cards for a rare, common rarity uh, costs i found lunatic let's go 22 damage and it reduces your defense by 20 percent like what if anything touches us we will die but i'm okay with it that's what i'm saying that i am okay with it i'm okay with it being rare and also i'm okay with it being an extremely huge downside we're gonna take this like i'm always okay with a uh, huge downsides i'm not okay with just straight up boring stuff uh you know what let's actually take this just to splash a bit off of that minus defense let's go with another fire spirit here 
Uh, <laughs> I have 462% attacks. We double damage. We take that. I'm gonna get my big numbers. I'm gonna get my big numbers. Uh, I'm not gonna take this. So this is double damage almost. It's a bit less than double damage. This is I almost permanently do double damage, but I no longer have an 18% chance to do how much damage? 18% chance to do where's why, why do I never find that? Uh, here it is. 18. I have 18% chance to do a thousand two hundred damage. So 12 time damage. They actually uh, 11 time damage. So I got I got a 18% chance to do 11 times damage. So no, I'm gonna do the 11 times damage roll here. Uh, let's take this so we splash off a bit more of the we might easily die on our own. Move timer. Let's get a, a new card. Average again. And also this thing. No. Nope. Uh, this is 20. Wow. 10% crit. This is insane. This is very powerful. I'm not going to take it though. We're going to take this to reduce the defense that we lost to nothingness. Or we're going to take range. And that's it pretty much. And let's now end it. Fire spirit 80%. You see, this could have been a hundred percent. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go this so we don't get one shot, honestly. And look at how little we get. I, I'm okay with it. And also, that's what I want to say. If you want to nerf things that seem to be busted, just attack a negative to it and just make the negative worse. Like, uh, the negatives being bad, by the way, I'm busted here. Look what's even happening. Can I see my numbers? I want to see a big number, please. Don't get the boss. Don't kill the boss. 237,000! 37,000! I saw the number, 37k, that's it. I saw it, it's done, 37k. We saw the number, we saw it, that's it. <laughs> a bit unlucky that we didn't get the relic that gives us 2% 1% uh, damage for every food we ate. That could have been insane. But, uh, oh, we now got the soul shop button here, so that's nice. Did I unlock the thing I wanted to unlock? Uh, it should be here at the very end. Uh, yep, it's not here anymore. So this is the... Wait, what? What are these? Uh, Dev? Why are these here? Oh! Oh, it's so that you don't know what it does. <laughs> okay, fair enough, I guess. But this is the achievement I wanted to go for, the 20 minute mark. So there's that. But can I now see what I unlocked? I think you got soul cards here. Yep, I cannot see what I unlocked. And it should be in the legendary weapons, right? It should be... Is it the... Ah, here it is. Void Wisp. Summon a Wisp from the Void. It'll target five random enemies, one after another, attacking on our enemies on its path. 21 damage, attack delay. We're gonna do this tomorrow. We're gonna do a Void Wisp tomorrow. I hope it's not gonna get nerfed. I have no idea if it's good or not right now. But I really hope it's not gonna get nerfed. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be the run for tomorrow. But for today, this was it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I didn't, uh, wasn't able to do the speed run, but we got the attack speed craziness. Oh, by the way, I'm giving out uh, keys. I have like a bunch of keys to give away. So join my Discord uh, so that you get join the Discord and join the giveaway, man. Join the giveaway in the Rogue Genesia giveaway channel that we have in my Discord, which is in the English description. And uh, we're I'm doing like a giveaway every single day for five keys. So right the moment this video is uploaded, one giveaway ended and another one starts i mean you still have a chance to enter the previous one because it takes me two or three minutes to uh like it takes two to five minutes for the you know i do not have these synchronized that's what i'm trying to say like i upload the video first and then like two or three minutes later then the the, the giveaway ends and then the new one starts so if if you're lucky enough there might still be the previous one and uh, yeah i mean don't forget to wishlist this game by the way because the more wishlist it gets the better and uh, that's it pretty much. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. I definitely did. I'm really happy that the dev reverted the nerfs because uh, that's that's the play, man. Just if if you want to nerf something, uh, either make it rarer is the one choice. The second choice is uh, if it has a downside, increase the downside. Okay, and the third choice is just don't do anything with it. The more cards you will add, the less of a chance somebody will have to find it. So if you add like 20 or 30 more passives in the game, do you know how hard it's gonna to, going to get to find Lunatic or whatever else? So it's it's it just happens on its own. You have to realize that these games, right now this game is in development, so you should just not focus on balancing it at all. If anything, only buff things so that people use them. And then if you get like a, th a hundred different passives and then you see that, oh, if somebody gets this passive, then they actually do win right away. Just make it an Ascended card and just make it very rare. And if they get it and beat the game with it, then so be it. Because in my opinion, these games should be the following. In the easier levels, uh, let's say let's say you have... Let's say you have a hundred levels, okay? Or, or let's say you have ten levels. And the easy levels, quote-unquote, are the first five. 
Uh, actually, I can go here to see them. Uh, let's say you have a, a B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. Right? In the easy levels like F, E, D, uh, C, you should always win. No matter what the build is, you should like always, always win. And then in world uh, B, A, and S or whatever, uh, on that point, you should uh, pretty much only win if you min-max and try to get like the best items, the most powerful equipment. And there is the point where you need to have those powerful things in your game. So you just leave them be. Uh, if you have like a million different cards that people can choose, then they just have to be lucky, you know, because this is a roguelike. Like, like just, just, just leave the powerful things in the game and allow the people to be lucky enough to get them. It's as simple as that. And if you want to make the game harder, I'm not talking about nerfing things, but making the game harder, then you just add difficulty settings. You just add challenges. You just add challenge modes. You just add ascension levels, you know, stage modifiers. You just add, add, add things. Okay, and that's my opinion. Now you might agree or disagree, comment down below. I think the dev was about to make a huge mistake by nerfing a bunch of things, but now he's he reverted them, and um, honestly, I, I do think that is the way to go. Just, just don't care about the balance of things. If you add something that is busted, just leave it busted. It's gonna fix itself when you will have a thousand different choices. And if something is weak, then you should, in my opinion, buff it. And my last uh, here thing that I want to say is there is a little trick, in my opinion, that anybody that has uh, is development should do. Whenever you nerf a thing you should always force yourself to buff a thing at almost equal amount like if you nerf something by 30 uh, 50 percent or 80 percent like from four damage now it gives you one damage you know if you do that much of a nerf that's like a 75 percent nerf right there you should find something that is weak and try to do a 75 percent buff to understand how crazy that is and if you do find something that is bad enough that the 75 percent buff is gonna make it good then do it, then do it, then I'm okay, then do it. Then make take something that is busted and break it down and take something that is trash and make it busted. Like, do it, because that is, I think, the most fun part of balancing. Like, that's why I always enjoyed the Dota the Dota patching more than the League of Legends patching. Because whenever Dota patched, it was like, okay, we're gonna nerf these five things and we're gonna buff these five things, so these are not the meta and these are not trash. Like, uh, that's the thing. You should not do a nerf so that you, quote-unquote, make people uh, do different choices. If you want to do that just buff things if you buff things then people will try to uh, go to try them they, everybody wants to try the new hot thing nobody likes it when their beloved thing gets destroyed especially in a single player game that is the main point here it's a single player game anyway uh as i said the dev did not anything wrong he, he reverted the big changes so i'm i'm super glad with it and my opinion is just Stop nerfing things in general. Uh, just just get, let the game flow so that everybody who is getting a key or will play the game will have a chance to get those busted things and have their fun. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. Once again, thanks for the... Drop a like and subscribe if you want to help out the channel. And uh, thanks for the Patreon membership supporters. And yeah, that's it pretty much. Once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.